What if you could build a powerful AI agent in just minutes, even without being a programmer? Sounds too good to be true? Let me show you how. In this video, I'm breaking down exactly how I used Cursor AI and the Langraph framework to create an AI agent step by step. For that, we will just use plain English to prompt an AI to build complex Python code for us. But before we actually start using the AI Composer in Cursor, we have to do our homework, basically research and create clear instructions for the AI to build our AI agent. Think of it like giving directions. If you are vague, it will take longer to reach the finished product. So the research before is crucial to break down the functionality into clear, actionable steps for the AI. It also reduces the back and forth with the AI. So let's open Cursor. In Cursor, create a dot cursor rules file. And if you open the cursor rules file, you'll see I did my homework. I created basically instructions for what I want the AI to build for me. From my experience, I know that GPT and Claude don't have Langraph in their training data, so they won't be able to create complex Langraph agents without the instructions and basic information about how long graph works. So for that, I prepared short overview, project requirements, and the steps basically. So for that, we will build social media content agent that takes a topic input from a user, performs a web search using Tavli API, to basically gather relevant information, then scrapes the content from those URLs, summarizes it, and passes it to the content writer AI which basically will create social media posts for X and LinkedIn. And the final step, it will pass those created posts to the editor to just refine the output from the agent. Also, include the project structure, how I want file and folder structure to be created by the AI. So also it's important to basically just map it for the AI so it knows and understands the code base better. Additionally, the requirements file with all the imports we have to make so the Python code will work. And also, I provided some code snippets. So ChatGPT or the OpenAI API knows how to construct an AI agent with the Langraph framework. Great. Now that we established this, let's open the Composer. For that, type in command I if you use a Mac and then kick things off. And now start building the AI agent. And now it starts creating those files and folders we mentioned in the cursor rules file. This will take a second. You forgot the requirements and the .env file. As you can see, even if you clarify it in the cursor rules file, the AI agent or the AI struggles from time to time to do what you actually want it to do. So this, even if you use a cursor rules file with clear instructions, just know there's still some back and forth iteration with the LLM. So let's assume I don't know how to code. What are the next steps? Question mark. How do I run this? Test this. And now you even get clear setup steps in case you are not a programmer and don't know how to test such a Python script. Okay, it also includes a debug test. Nice. Let's save it for now. Start creating the virtual environment. Now 
next activate it and now we can run the requirements installs while this is installing our dependencies let's head to the .env file and replace your API keys in here and now we can test our AI agent clear the terminal and see if we encounter a error yep thought so so don't even look into the files just mark them and click here on add compose add to composer fix this error let the AI do our job And you see uh, next errors and this is the tedious part of it. You have to still iterate to the development using AI. So I will skip this part. So you get the point, just mark it and tell, tell it what it's missing. Or I get this error, fix it. And now it asks us for the topic. Let's say Bitcoin. Since it's hot right now, next error. Add to composer. Fix this. You see, uh, we mentioned this actually in the cursor rules file, but it didn't get it. It's probably still too complicated in terms of files or folder structure, which is definitely a bug of Cursor AI currently. So just keep in mind, you will have to iterate through the errors until you get a finished product or working code. Save all. And it finally created it. As you could see, I just kept it real, so no, no hiding from you. It's still an iterative process. Even if you do your homework, it's still, it took me, what, a couple, uh, 15 minutes maybe, of back and forth with the LLM, because it always forgets something. And I wanted to show you a non-coder perspective to it, where I didn't go into the files and check it myself to see where the error is. So it just prompted the LLM. Just wanted to show you, even if you're not a coder, you can grind through this process. So let's check. It retrieved some data, also provided us the URLs and created the social media posts. And it seems actual, uh, recent, if you can see 90K it's the price of today, I guess, 90 or 91,000 dollars. So great, it worked. Guys, if you're enjoying this content and want to dive deeper into building AI engines, join my newsletter where I share exclusive tips, tutorials and insights every week. Perfect for everyone looking to master AI agents. So check the link in the description and sign up if you'd like to get more insights about AI agents and my personal opinions about 
current state of agents. So that's it for today. Hope you like this one. AI agent out.